Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today, I wish I could say that this was going to be an exciting, happy, yay video, but no. I have a rant. I am pissed. Today, I am reviewing the BoxyCharm Lux subscription. Now, I just signed up for this in March. And I got put on the wait list for Lux and then I got an email saying you have been approved. We're going to get you your Lux box. Y'all heard me say March, right? Today is April 11th. I just got this yesterday. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Before I get into the video, if you're new here, I would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. I upload videos twice a week and it's mostly makeup content with a little bit of fitness sprinkled in. So if you want to see what's in my box, if you want to hear me rant, go off about the last month trying to get this box, then stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, so let's talk about BoxyCharm. If you are not familiar with BoxyCharm, it is a monthly subscription service. It used to be a lot less expensive than it is right now. They went up on the price because I used to subscribe to it and I would get it every month. And then I started getting bored with what the stuff with the stuff that they were giving. And so I stopped subscribing. And then I've been noticing more reviews with a lot more high end nice stuff. So I was like, you know, it's my birthday month. It's the month of March. Let's go ahead and subscribe again and see. I saw some of the sneak peeks of the things that were going to be in the box. And I was like, yeah, let's just go ahead and do it. So I signed up for the service on March 4th. Now, when you sign up, you have to sign up if you want the Lux box. There's three levels. There's just the basic box, then the premier box, then the Lux box, which Lux is only every three months. So I signed up for the base box because I was like, I'm not, I don't care about the premium box and the ba that much of a difference, it's not worth it to me. The prices, I guess I should tell y'all that. So the monthly base box is now $25 a month. I remember it used to be like 19 or 21 or something like that. Then the premium box is $35 for that one. And then if you decide to get the Lux box that again is every other quarter, so every three months, and that is $49.99 every Lux month. So that will be $25 for the base plus an additional $24.99 for the add-on. Now what they do is they put everything in one box, so whatever. I didn't get my base box. I didn't get my Lux box. They said it can take up to 14 days. No, 10 business days. 10 business days. I didn't get anything. I emailed. Didn't get a response. I got an automated response. They have this stupid little bot that you can chat with and it just gives you generic answers. And if it can't help you, then it will send an email to a person who's supposed to get back with you. You know, these people told me by the end of the month, of course, that they were running low on Lux box items and that they were going to try to get some stuff together to send me and that they're sorry. And then the last email, I was like, just cancel it. I don't even want it at this point. And they were like, well, if we can't find the products, we will go ahead and refund you your money. But then they didn't refund my, my money. And all of a sudden, oh, look, we have your products and they're going to ship. So it took a whole month. And I've already been charged for the April box. So I'm canceling for sure after this. I don't care about no boxy charm. I don't care. No, I don't want it. If there's stuff I want, I'm just going to pay for it myself and be done with that because ain't nobody got time to be waiting a whole month for something that should have been shipped within. It shouldn't even take two weeks, but it did. At any rate, I'm going to tell you all what's in this box. I don't feel like it was worth it. So that makes it even worse. And yeah, spoiler alert, I'm canceling this service. Ain't doing BoxyCharm again. I don't care. So inside the box, the card that comes in it tells you what's in it and the value of everything. 
This is BoxyCharm Lucky. So month of March, not this month of April. Um, the first thing that is in the box, I'm trying to make sure I got room to sit this up here, is the B Beauty London Barbarella Eyeshadow Palette. It says that this retails for $50. I've never heard of this brand. I think this is cute. It's all right. It says jet milled color delivers intense saturated color, light reflective sheens with velvety finish, gorgeous golds, pretty pearls, frosted greens. Y'all know I love my greens, so I ain't mad at that, but standard cardboard packaging. What are they talking about? Oh, I guess there's two. This is what the palette looks like. So he's talking about gorgeous greens. This looks semi greenish, a greenish brown. This is another green. That is it. That is the only greens I see in here. This is what it looks like. I'm, like I said, I've never heard of this brand. I've never seen anybody other than other BoxyCharm people. I've never seen anyone talk about it or use it. So I guess I'll show it in a video later, but let me swatch some of this and see. Y'all know I'm gonna swatch that green. That blue is pigmented. Y'all know I was gonna go for that. I'll try this orange shade down at the bottom. I mean, these pretty much just kind of feel like toppers. Yeah. These feel more like toppers than they do actual shadows. It's not bad. Like, this one feels like a topper. These feel like sheens. And then this is the matte. And I'll go ahead and swatch them for you real quick. Yeah, I'm not impressed with that green at all. So that's what the shades look like. That's the green up there. You barely see that. The blue is pretty. This is a pretty color, but it's pretty light. And then that's that topper shade. So I don't know why or how this would cost, what I said, $50? $50. Maybe it's just because the size of it, but I don't know. I know swatches don't tell the whole story, so I'll have to try it on my lid, but... Whatever, not impressed. The next thing in this box is the Glow Recipe Plum Plump Hyaluronic Serum. Now, I will say I'm a little excited about this because I have been looking for serums and I love Glow Recipe. This retails for $42. It says, this concentrated formula is your go-to serum for plump, radiant skin. It's a unique blend of three types of plum, hyaluronic acid, and vegan collagen. I ain't mad about this. Now, I guess if this is the right price, this pretty much costs the price of the box. So, I'm still mad. Don't get it twisted. But this does kind of help <laughs> make it a little worth it. Y'all, I just can't with... I can't with bad customer service. I cannot. So this is super cute. So this is what the packaging looks like. And I guess I can put a little back on the back of my hand because I do want to smell it. Comes with a little pump. It's just a clear. It has a little bit of a scent. Y'all probably, y'all can see a little bit of that. Just the wetness on my hand it definitely feels like it's smoothing feels hydrating and you can see i don't know if y'all can see the difference in the sheen on the back of my hand so it doesn't have a strong smell i can say that but definitely like i said i was excited about that and i think this was one of the spoilers i saw which made me want to get it i might have been a little excited about the eyeshadow palette because y'all know i love eyeshadows but that was not worth it at all next thing we have is the Maylee's cosmetics b flat belly firming cream y'all i don't believe in any of this stuff this is a pretty big bottle this retails for 49 dollars said improves cellulite appearance and minimizes the appearance of stretch marks okay it says applies to the belly area massage it into the skin in a circular motion until it is absorbed completely the sense of heat may increase and may be felt for up to two hours. So it's kind of warming. Interesting. So let's go ahead and open this up. So this is what it looks like. Cute packaging. And then I'm assuming it comes, yeah, comes with a pump. Guess we'll put this on the back of my hand too. I definitely said when I subscribe to the box, I'm still pumping, nothing coming out that I prefer to get more makeup stuff than I did skincare, but I ain't mad at it. It has a little bit of a scent to it. 
It's not a bad smell. It's definitely fragrant. We'll see if my hand starts warming up, but I mean, you don't see anything at all. Just, I wanted to smell it and I wanted to see if it warmed up. So that's that. Next we have the Cosmetics Skincare Brush Set. I swear I was thinking about this the other day because I saw on Ulta's website that they have a primer brush and I was like, when do we start needing brushes to put on primer and skincare? Like what's wrong with our fingers? And then I get this. So I guess I get to see what the hype is about because I sure as hell wasn't going to buy a brush or any kind of tool to put on my skincare. So this comes with two brushes and it says the first brush you apply cleanser to it and use circular motions. The second brush, oh, textured side for a detoxifying mask. And then the curved side for a hydrating mask. Okay, this is a very, very dense brush. I don't know if you guys can see that and it has the little ridges at the top. So this is the cleansing brush. And then this is, I don't know if you guys can see, this yeah you can see the little teeth on it so this is the side that you said to use for a mask for like detoxifying and then this part back here is smooth nothing on it and it says use that part for hydrating masks so okay girl I guess we about to join the bandwagon and try some skincare with tools but again not impressed and it says these retail for $25 Next thing we got is the Soleil Hair Tools Mini Heat Brush. Now, I have been interested in trying one of these, and I just haven't pulled the trigger on it yet, but y'all, they say this brush is $150. I don't think I believe that. I'm going to have to do some research. It says it's perfect for on-the-go styling and touch-ups. It's powerful and easy to use as a full-size tool, but compact enough to carry with you wherever you go. Rapid heat time and heat-resistant bristles allow this cute, handy brush to quickly and easily glide through your hair. Safe for all hair types. Welcome to your new favorite beauty tool. I think my attitude about all this stuff is just even worse because of what happened. So I still wouldn't be impressed with, <laughs> with those damn skincare brushes, but. So this is what it looks like. She's tiny, like this my head, this my face, big face. Not really, but I'm being silly. But so this is what the bristles look like. I don't know if you guys can see. The ones here are a little bigger and flat. And then on the outside, they're more like, but these are plastic. These are thinner, more like combs, like the teeth on a comb. And then these are flat. It's not temperature regulated. Do you just on and off, whatever the temperature is, that's what it's gonna be. But yeah, this is definitely small, travel friendly. And it comes with a little bag, so meh, it could work good, who knows. Interesting, this looks like the Dyson. So here are some other tools that they have. I'm interested in this one down here. And this little thing comes, really? It comes with a 55% off code that expired December 31st, 2020. I'm gonna see if it still works because I might look at that other dryer. Next thing we got is this Beauty Bakery Blending Egg Beauty Sponges. It says, get your beat on. It's soft and comfy, allowing you to get cracking on that beat. Cooked up with you in mind, blending eggs were uniquely created to fit in the palm of your hand. For seamless blending, they will be your new favorite tools. First of all, we all know Beauty Bakery has the cutest packaging. This retails for $18. It literally comes like a little carton of eggs. This is their blending eggs. And when you open it, it's insane. This is so cute though. I'm still mad at you, BoxyCharm, but Beauty Bakery, you cute. So six sponges. I don't change my sponges enough. I ain't even gonna lie. I don't wash them enough either. But I'm getting a good little collection of them, so I probably need to start rotating them. You're supposed to throw them away like every three months. I can tell you right now, I don't do that. So maybe having more will encourage me to be more hygienic. Oh, I don't know if I said these are $18, so $3 a sponge. Really good deal. Next is the Dominique Cosmetics Creamy Fill and Define Lip Liner. This retails for $18. It says define and fill your lips with this unique teardrop shaped liner. 
narrow at the tip for precision and wider at the bottom to fill. It's infused with clean, good for you ingredients like vitamin E, smooth fine lines, boosts circulations, and keeps lips pillowy soft. Silky long lasting demi matte finish is light and breathable. You'll forget you're wearing it. I don't think this is going to be my shade. This is in the shade. Where is it? This is the box crush. At first I thought maybe because that's what it looks like there. But when you open it, it's cute, but I don't think that's going to help with my, oh, maybe it's a little darker than I thought. Yeah, not so much. I can wear it. But it'll be more of like a super neutral put this on with a gloss because any lipstick I try to put on with it'll cover it. But I like the formula is really creamy. I can't tell if this is this I'm smelling or let me see. It smells like a pencil. Nothing else. So it says fill and define. So I guess I can put that all over the lips with a gloss and be good to go. And again, I don't know, I'm getting so distracted. This is $18 if I didn't say it. And then last but not least, this is the Rayel Beauty Vitamin C Facial Sheet Mask. This comes with five masks in the box. It's $15 and it says to help brighten and glow. I do like using sheet masks. This one has pomegranate fruit extract, fig fruit extract, and citrus fruit extract. So pomegranate boosts skin's radiance. Fig fruit exfoliates and, and provides a refreshed look. And then citrus brightens and even skin tone. I like to put these on before bed. I will lay in bed with it on, watch TV for a little while, take it off, rub the rest of the serum in, and then I go to sleep. So not bad. Everything I've been looking for has been brightening for radiance to help with my pigmentation, my hyperpigmentation. So I guess that is it for this boxycharm Lux and i guess base box unboxing like i said y'all i was not impressed and i'm even less impressed that it took because it took that long to get to me so i'm gonna do one more review for the april box and then y'all probably will not see another boxycharm review on my channel anytime soon because i'm canceling i don't think this was worth it and I should have known better because I've been seeing some reviews with people saying that they feel like they're kind of getting tired of it or they're getting some of the same stuff. But then, of course, you see the big influencers getting Natasha Denona and all this other like really high end stuff that we want to get. And then we get our boxes and it's like, oh, that's it. So something to keep in mind if you're just starting out you want to be able to try a lot of different brands a lot of products you wouldn't normally it's a good idea i just don't know what the hell happened with the service this month but for me somebody who already has a big collection and i know what i like nah i'm good fam thank you guys for sticking with me to the end of the video i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give this video a thumbs up if you're new i would love to have you join the family so stick around, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.